Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we have another tutorial in the series of Excel data analytics. Today we will learn about filters in Excel. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever we post. Just a quick info for you if you want to upskill, master business analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like IIT Roorkee, Purdue, and CPAP. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression and classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all. You will also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier product companies and academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or move on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box to find a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now to get started with filters in Excel, we might have to switch to the practical mode. So we are on the Excel spreadsheet right now. So we have some employed table and we have some another table in here which is about department and designation and we also have and or right so remember the symbols and is for star and or is for plus now we have converted our data set into a table by control d option and now just select all the data and by default table will give you the filter option here but let's say let's try to remove this filter and now let's say we just have a simple table now we want to add the filter option so the shortcut way is just selecting the entire table going to the home tab and selecting the editing group and inside that you have the filter and sort option just select that and done you also have the functionalities where you can select your own departments there let's say i want only admin analytics and development i have the table result here or if say i wanted some other filter and i can get it but what if you wanted to filter your data based on formula without using any kind of tools let's say it's your interview question and your interviewer asks you give me a filtered data set without using the filter tool how can you do that now here comes the tricky part it's simple just use equal to filter and there you go you have selected the filter and now you have three parameters array include if empty so these particular parameters stay for a different meaning array is the return array what values you want to return so you, your your uh, manager asked or your interviewer asked you to give you only the employee names which are working in department then your return value will be employee column which is b which is employee name right and if you wanted the entire table give me the or give me all the details of all the employees who are working in development team then you will be selecting the entire table right now let's select the entire table let's go with the second uh, use case I'll select the entire hidden area as the entire table now include this is the condition include parameters for condition now i wanted employees working in development team right so i'll select the department table and department i mean department column and the department column value should be equals to what this development right so get me the values of department table where the value is equals to development this is my condition and the last one is if empty this is just a written value in case if the values are not found right so i'll give it as not found itself and now close the bracket enter now you have all the employee details who are working in development team now let's say you wanted employees who are working in a development team as well as testing team now it is similar to an or condition right so that's when you use the or condition over here and you get the values it's like you're giving multiple parameters now it's not possible to add a comma and add another condition because this particular filter function goes with only three parameters now if you are adding a comma and adding another condition it will be considered as a fourth parameter now we won't uh, now we won't uh, want that to be happening right so we don't want that to be happening so how do you modify the existing condition that is 
the second uh, parameter it's really simple just use make user you know you, you can just make use of some brackets so close the bracket and now we are looking for employees who are working in both uh, i mean who are either in development or in testing right so it's like an odd condition so for odd condition the logical symbol is plus right so similarly again you will be selecting the department and the value should be equal to let's say testing so i'll add that testing part over here in l2 and close the bracket there you go you have added the second condition now next copy this testing value and add it in cell l2 which was our second condition i mean second part of the condition there you go now you have all the employees who are working in development or testing right and that's how you use filters in excel let's say you wanted to extract uh, details of employees who are working in both uh, you know there are there, there might be situations where you want uh, to use and condition so in those particular situations just look, replace that plus with the and symbol that is star symbol and that should work and that's how you use filters in excel and, uh, and that's how we got to the end of this tutorial on filters in excel if you have any queries or if you want any resources used in this session please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to help you as soon as possible until next time Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.